Hi friends, I am Ajit Desh and today my lecture topic is the Indian Railways and its uh, future. The ra Indian Railways is the world's fourth largest uh, railways and carrying an average of 8 billion passengers annually. The Indian Railways is the world's 10th largest employer and the railways were introduced to India by the British in 1853 and the father of Indian Railways is Lord Dalhousie. The uh, network spans over 68,000 km and having more than 7,000 stations and having a track length of 1,28,000 km and the, uh, the revenue of Indian Railways as of 2022-23 is um, 2,40,000 crore rupees and having a net income of 4,464 crore rupees and there are many challenges that are faced by the Indian Railways. Some of them are the aging infrastructure, poor safety, low speed, inadequate capacity, uh, environment impacts and uh, financial insustainability. So the fund related problems had been there from the beginning itself as the Indian Railways take funds from the government and uh, there are many mishappenings due to poor infrastructure which include uh, accidents, derailments and collisions which were frequently occur in the Indian Railways and uh, we have also seen during the COVID-19 pandemic there had been a huge revenue loss because of the shortage of uh, passengers it was around 38,000 crore rupees and for the redevelopment of around 125 stations there has been an estimate fund of 50,000 crore rupees which is also a challenge and uh, the poor uh, and inadequate capacity of passengers uh, there is an example that most of the passengers who book their tickets and uh, even when the uh, trains journey starts uh, they are in a uh, waiting list so this shows the under capacity of uh, passengers so how can we tackle these problems so one of the ways to tackle this problem is the monetization of unused or uh, underused assets of the Indian Railways we can convert these assets into money and invest in different parts of the uh, Indian Railways where development is necessary uh, other ways to seek the help of private sectors and uh, help motivate them to uh, invest money in the railway department so that uh, we can achieve goals like 100% uh, electrification of trains or uh, and zero carbon emission by 2030 or e-ticketing and etc. And there is uh, for the inadequate capacity of passengers there has been uh, 109 new routes that are planned to be opening. So and uh, by the Make in India plan there has been some more changes that occurred in the Indian Railways. Some of them are the Vante Bharat Express which is the fastest train of India as of now and it is uh, more clean and safe to be in and the coverage system which is uh, an anti looking system which uh, runs on uh, signals and radio frequencies which is also a secure method uh, that will stop collisions and derailments etc and uh, the bio toilets and electrified uh, vehicles air chair cars and there has been online uh, ticketing and digitalization etc that are uh, implemented into the indian railways so I would like to conclude my topic by saying that the Indian Railways is not just a department but it is a pride of our nation. So we have to do it collectively to preserve and uh, way, make it way forward into the, for the future generation. So that's all about Indian Railways and its future. Thank you. Have a nice day.